Hi, I'm Ben. I'm one of the engineers at OpenTrons and I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, how the different pieces of software interact with each other in the OT2 robot. So whenever you start using the OT2, the first piece of software that you're probably going to encounter is what we call the Run App. The Run App is a desktop application that will run on your laptop and it accepts a protocol file which is the file that contains instructions on what actions the robot is supposed to perform. So that file is uploaded into the, into the run app and then the run app connects to a robot, specifically it connects to what we call the API server. The API server is, a, is an application that is running on the robot and it translates a protocol file into machine readable control instructions. The specific uh, control uh, device that we use is called a smoothie board. Smoothie is designed as a CNC control uh, board that uh, translates from low-level commands called G-code into electrical signals that cause the motors to move. So the normal flow whenever you control an OT2 robot is to upload a protocol file into the run app which transmits it to a connected API server running on a robot. The API server translates the human readable protocol file into machine readable G code commands, which are sent to control the motors. The other way of controlling the robot is by executing Python commands from the API server directly through Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is a software system that it is commonly used amongst scientists to perform research uh, around computation in Python. Normally you run a Jupyter Notebook server on your laptop and interact with it through the browser. In our case, in order to enable Jupyter Server to control the robot, we run a Jupyter Server on the robot on board and then you can connect through your browser by going to a link that's provided in the OT2 documentation and connecting to that robot and issuing Python commands by running them in the Jupyter Notebook browser the same way that you would if you were running Jupyter locally as you may have done previously. Finally, in order to make this entire workflow accessible to scientists, whether or not they are Python developers, we've also created the protocol designer application. Protocol Designer is a graphical application that allows scientists and researchers to create protocol files without having to understand code. It allows them to visually lay out the various labware and components and materials that will be used in the protocol and design the logic based on the actions that they're already familiar with and then the application handles exporting code that, th that can then be uploaded to the run app and used to control the robot the same way as if you had written the protocol yourself by hand. Thank you very much.